Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to my SFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to set up on-premises directory synchronization with Microsoft Entra ID using Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. If you want to synchronize our on-premises identities with Microsoft Entra ID using the Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. In this example, we have single domain active directory forest Name MSFT Webcast dot local. This is our primary domain controller for the MSFT Webcast dot local domain running on Windows Server 2019. When synchronizing your on-premises directory with Microsoft Entra ID, a verified domain in Microsoft Entra ID is required. Only the user principal names associated with the on-premises Active Directory are synchronized. However, any UPN containing a non-routable domain such as .local will be synchronized to .onmicrosoft.com domain. In our example, we have a non-routable domain msftwebcast.local. In the previous video, we prepared our non-routable domain msftwebcast.local for directory synchronization. We resolved the non-routable domain issue by registering a new UPN suffix in the on-premises active directory to match the domain we verified in Microsoft Entra ID. You can see I have added alternative UPN suffix with the name msftwebcast.in. We are now ready to install and configure the Microsoft Entra Connect Sync tool for directory synchronization. Before we begin, let's go over the prerequisites for installing Microsoft Entra Connect on your Windows Server 2019 machine. Microsoft Entra Connect requires .NET Framework 4.8 or later, which is typically included with Windows Server 2016 and newer versions. Additionally, an on-premises Active Directory environment is required for hybrid identity setups. The domain controller used by the Microsoft Entra Connect must be writable. Ensure that you have administrative credentials for both your on-premises Active Directory and your Microsoft Entra ID tenant. In this video, we have a Windows Server 2019 Active Directory Forest, a Microsoft Entra ID tenant with a free license and a verified custom domain. Installing Microsoft Entra Connect on the domain controller is supported, but Microsoft doesn't recommend that. It's best to install Microsoft Entra Connect on a separate domain joined Windows Server. In this example, we will use the domain controller for demonstration purposes. Already, I have created one security group and four users. Now, let me show you our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Let's go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Expand Identity section and click on Overview. Here we can see the basic information about our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. The primary domain name is msftwebcast.in and the license type is Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. The custom domain name msftwebcast.in is configured as a primary domain name in our tenant. As we can see, Microsoft Entra Connect is not enabled in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Now expand Users and click on All Users. We can view the list of existing users in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Let's return to the Windows Server 2019 domain controller. I have already enabled TLS 1.2 for Microsoft Entra Connect on this domain controller. I created a separate video on how to enable TLS 1.2 for Microsoft Entra Connect on Windows servers. You can refer to the video for detailed steps on enabling TLS 1.2. The link to the video is provided in the description. Open Microsoft Edge web browser and search for download Microsoft Entra Connect. Click on download link to download the Microsoft Entra Connect setup file. This will take only few seconds as the size of this setup is around 150 MB. Open downloads folder. Double click on the setup file to start the installation. Remember, currently the name of the setup is Azure AD Connect, but in future it can be Microsoft Entra Connect. Let me close other open windows. Before we can start installing Microsoft Entra Connect Sync, we need to agree to the license terms. Select the checkbox and click continue. By default, the installation is set to Express. On the Express settings page, we can see the message that msftwebcast.local is not a routable domain. It is recommended to use a custom settings to configure user sign-in option. 
You can click on this link to learn more about non-doubtable domains and use the sign-in settings on Microsoft website. Click on Customize to see the custom installation options. This will give you all the options which you can decide for yourself. Click on Previous to go back. In this example, I'll install Microsoft Interact Connect Sync using the Express Installation option. Click on Use Express Settings. The installer will install the required components like the synchronization service. We need to enter a Microsoft Entra ID account credentials. You can use the credentials of your hybrid identity admin or global admin. After entering the username, click Next to continue. Click on Next. Enter the user password and click on Sign in. If MFA is enabled on your account, you may be prompted to complete the necessary authentication steps according to your organization settings. After the successful authentication, we'll reach on Connect to ADDS page. Now, you will need to enter the credentials of an enterprise administrator account for your on-premises Active Directory. We have to use enterprise administrator credentials to add an Active Directory connection. Fill in the administrator account with enterprise admin rights. After entering the username and password, click Next to continue. Remember, these credentials are used to create the local Active Directory account for synchronization. The screen is showing you the UPN suffixes it detected in your local Active Directory. It is common to have multiple UPN suffixes. If you want to use a single sign-on, you will need to have a UPN suffix that matches your verified domain in Microsoft Entra ID. For example, my verified domain in the Microsoft Entra tenant is msftwebcast.in. You can see the installation wizard has detected that UPN suffix. Keep in mind that earlier we prepared our non-routable domain msftwebcast.local for directory synchronization. We have added msftwebcast.in as an additional UPN suffix in our on-premises active directory. We need to select continue without matching all UPN suffixes to verify domains option to continue. Select the checkbox and click the next button. Optionally, in Ready to Configure, you can clear the Start the Synchronization process as soon as Configuration completes checkbox. You should clear this checkbox if you want to do more configuration, such as to add filtering. If you clear this option, the wizard configures the sync but leaves the scheduler disabled. The scheduler doesn't run until you enable it manually by rerunning the installation wizard. If you leave the Start the Synchronization process, when configuration completes checkbox selected, a full sync of all users, groups, and contacts to Microsoft Entra ID begins immediately. Keep in mind, we have selected Express Installation Mode to install Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. This will synchronize your all Active Directory objects to Microsoft Entra ID. Let's click on Install to start the installation process. The installation process has been started successfully. This will take few seconds to complete the process. Under Configuring, you can read the name of the each step that Microsoft Entra Connect Installation Wizard is performing. Once the installation process is finished, select Exit to close the installer. The Microsoft Entra Connect configuration is complete and the synchronization process has been started. Click the Exit to close the installation wizard. Click on the Start menu, expand Azure AD Connect, in future, you might see Microsoft Entra Connect. Under Azure AD Connect, click on the application named Synchronization Service. We can confirm that it has already completed the synchronization. The first time a full import is made, a full synchronization and an export. Click on the MSFT webcast lab24.onmicrosoft.com with the profile name Export. Click on Ads in the Export Statistics. These objects are exported with success from on premises Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. We can double-click on each distinguished name to identify the user object. You can see the username is Akshay Kumar. And this is the user principal name of that user account. Let's go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. At the moment, we don't have any on premises sync enabled users in our Microsoft Entra ID. Even we don't have directory synchronization account. After installing Microsoft Entra Connect tool, let's refresh the web page. Click on Overview. We can see the sync status is changed to Enabled. Click on Go to Microsoft Entra Connect. 
Under Microsoft Entra Connect Sync, last sync status says less than one hour ago. And the password has sync is also enabled. Go back to all users. If the information is not updated, you can click on refresh. Under the on premises sync enabled column, now we can see we have some users with yes. These are the users which are synchronized from our on premises Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. This is the Microsoft Entra Connector account created by Microsoft Entra Connect Setup, which will use to sync Active Directory objects between on premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID. We can see the users from our on premises Active Directory like Akshay Kumar, Pranjal Sharma, Rahul Nair, and Vishal Kedia. You can also apply the filter to find out the users from your on premises Active Directory. To apply the filter, click on Add Filter, and from the list, select on premises Sync Enabled. Make sure the value is set to Yes. Click on Apply. So these are the users from our on premises Active Directory. Expand Groups and click on All Groups. We also have group from our on premises Active Directory. We did successfully installed and configured Microsoft Entra Connect tool using Express Installation Mode on Windows Server 2019 DC. That's all for this video on how to set up on premises directory synchronization with Microsoft Entra ID using Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.